Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mona Shibul and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I want to talk about whether or not you should reach out to your specific person after a period of no contact, now that you have worked on your self concept. I received this question a lot. I responded to it in TikTok and I thought I'd do a full video about this here on YouTube. But of course, before we get started, if there is anything you are working on manifesting, if you're facing any issues in manifesting, I do offer one-to-one -one coaching through both email and video. So definitely do check out the information in the description below. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So let's get started. This is a question I get a lot. As I mentioned, I've received this question multiple times on TikTok, but I thought I will give you a more thorough explanation of what I think you should do and why. So, the first thing I would like to say, there are no absolute rules. You set your own rules. I can never tell you don't reach out. What I can tell you is anything you experience, if you reach out to them and you get an undesired response, there is never permanent damage. Not only that, you can always revise. So let's get that out of the way. There is never something wrong that you can do that's the first thing now if it boils down to reaching out you've worked on your self-concept you've been doing really well with the inner work you really have been affirming for yourself and building up your own self-concept in relation to love and in relation to that person and you are feeling like you want to reach out to them you are probably not gonna even ask anyone about that okay so that's the number one thing when it's inspired when the action is inspired you're not going to ask you're just gonna do it and you will do it so that's the first thing the fact that i get this question from people means it is not inspired action it means they are still in the questioning mode so Anytime I receive that question, usually I will tell them, no, don't reach out. But if you feel inspired to do it sometime, one day, then do it. That would be my response, the short response. But I want to go in a bit further because ultimately we said when you're inspired to do something, you will do it, right? But if you are asking whether or not you should be the one to reach out means one of two things. The first potential issue could be that you are not trusting the process. So you're not trusting that you can manifest them to reach out to you. It could be simply not believing in manifesting. So in such a scenario, I would tell you a firm for manifesting affirm i am very good at manifesting i'm literally manifest everything that i want i can manifest anything that i want i really am good at getting everything that i want so you want to really build up your self-concept when it comes to manifesting because you want to start trusting more in the process and you can also test it out with different things you know, like you, you want to try and really build up your faith in manifesting. And sometimes the small things are the, the things that help you really build up that faith. That was the case for me. Like it's been 17 years I've been into manifesting and the number of things that I have manifested small and big have just really built up my faith in the process. So try to do it with things that are not related to your specific person. So that's in terms of your faith in the process. Sometimes you do have faith in the process, but you have assumptions about your specific person that they will not take certain actions. They will not do X, Y, Z. And I filmed a video 
about how most of the time your assumptions about the other person regardless of if it's in relation to love or in relation to work or in relation to whatever most of the time it is boiling down to assumptions about yourself it's relating to your self-concept so if you are saying i have worked on my self-concept but i don't believe that my specific person will reach out to me because of xyz it is still boiling down to your self-concept most of the time i would say 90 percent of the time now of course there are times when it's purely about them that's something else but I really recommend you watch that video that I linked earlier because it will really help you understand that most of the time your assumptions about them are really boiling down back to your self-concept. You have to really be brutally honest with yourself. If you're telling me I have worked on my self-concept and should I reach out to them, there is a question mark there. It means your self-concept is still not on point because there's a reason why you're saying I'm the one who's going to reach out. Either you're not trusting the process or you're making assumptions about them which ultimately reflect back on your own self-concept. So this is the first thing. Now, if you have not worked on your self-concept, please do not reach out to them because you can always, even if you don't reach out to them, they may reach out to you if you've been thinking about them a lot, they can reach out to you. Absolutely, they can reach out to you. But if your self-concept is not really where it needs to be, it's going to be a hot mess. You're going to get into a situation where the relationship isn't what you want it to be. Work on your self-concept. Let's say you were inspired to take action. You didn't ask anyone. You just felt you wanted to. You knew that you wanted to do this and there was no question about it and you reached out to them. You took inspired action, it was purely inspired. In such a scenario, there are two potential outcomes. The first one is you, are, you succeed. Perfect, everything is great, perfect. So nothing to discuss there. The second potential outcome you get a less than ideal outcome, something unwanted. Either they do not respond or they respond in not a nice way or whatever. In such a scenario, there are two ways that you can react to this. I'm sorry if I'm overcomplicating it, but I think this will really help you. The first one is you do not react nor care. You look at it completely in a neutral way you are able to do that. You're not reacting to circumstances. You're looking at the circumstance and not letting it reflect back on you. This is a very positive sign that your self-concept is stabilizing. However, if your self-concept was on point, you would have manifested a desired outcome from them. So it's still telling you continue doing the work. If, on the other hand, you receive an undesired circumstance, you perceive it to be undesired. In the end, everything is neutral, right? It's you giving it meaning. Unless, of course, they send you a very nasty response, then that means your self-concept is really off and you really just need to go back. But generally, we tend to give meaning to circumstances. That's why we say don't react to circumstances. And when your self-concept is on point, you tend to see circumstances as more neutral than the person who has a low self-concept. The person with a low self-concept always takes it personal, always thinks it's about them. They always think I'm being rejected. It could be simply you caught the SP in a moment where they're having a bad day or they didn't see your email and never responded. Or it could be a multitude of circumstances that have resulted in this outcome. The key is when you are stabilizing your self-concept, you will not react to the circumstance. Or if you feel just a pinch of emotion, but you hold yourself in place, you're really working well and stabilizing your self-concept. Like mentioned, if you get an undesired response, what you perceive to be an undesired response, 
and you feel horrible, whether you feel horrible about yourself, you say, I'm so stupid, why did I reach out to them? So you're reacting, you're getting bothered, you're judging yourself, you're reacting, you're feeling stupid, you say, why did I do this? I feel like an idiot, blah, 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 all kinds of things about self. Or you're going to get angry at them and come up with a whole new bunch of assumptions about them. And so you're really digging a new hole for yourself. If you're saying, well, it's not about me, it's about them. You're now creating assumptions about them that they are X, Y, Z, which really are not serving you. Ultimately, anytime you are reacting in any way and making judgments about yourself or about them, you need to go back and work on your self-concept. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there is never ever any permanent damage. I hope you like this video. Sorry if I overcomplicated it, but I thought this would be super helpful to once and for all answer this question. And again, remember, if this seems all too much, take action, do whatever you feel inspired to do, but always come back and not take anything personal because everything you are thinking with your mind is not real. You're choosing to identify with someone who is rejected, with someone who is not worthy. That's not really who you are. Just go back and work on your self-concept. Disidentify with the one who is rejected and shift into a version of yourself who absolutely is deserving and who absolutely deserves to be reached out to. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like and share, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.